Well, hey everyone, how you doing? This is Don Smith, and today I'd like to share with you a cool new way to watermark your photos that I have found. You know, over the last year, I've been seeing some great signatures by photographers out on the web, and tried to create my own in Photoshop uh, using a Wacom tablet. <clears throat> Just kind of a tough thing to do. I have pretty terrible handwriting, and it showed <laughs> and after much frustration uh, discovered a company uh, not by myself but hearing other people talking about it or reading about it on the web and it the company's name is called photo logo now if you look up in the URL if you simply Google photo logo it'll take you to another company site called photologo.com and that's not the company you want to be at you want to be at photologo.co so that's the uh, company URL to put in and you'll get to this landing page and this is an example of one of the signatures they create I'm going to go over here to the top right and just show you a little bit about the ordering process and what I did to create my logo. Okay, so now we're on the order page. It's just three simple steps, as you can see. And they ask you, how thick do you want the signature? And I just click medium. Um, I didn't want it super thick. How curly do you want it? Again, I went with the middle choice. And then I click next, and it's going to ask you what you want to put into it. So obviously the first one here is your name. That's pretty simple. And then a tagline. And I did type in photography on mine and anything else you'd like to know. And then simply click the next button and it's just going to take you to a standard checkout like you all know how to do. Okay, so now um, how do we, this is the big question, how do we get photo logo on our photo well it's pretty simple you're gonna need a program that has layers and I'm gonna show you through Photoshop and I know a lot of you're gonna ask me hey Don how do you do this through Lightroom and you know therein lies the rub Lightroom is not a layered based program uh, but I do know there's third-party programs that do allow you to work in layers however I haven't tried doing this through any of those but if you do have a layering program inside of your Lightroom, a third party program, go ahead and give that a try. This might work. But in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, this is going to be real simple. So I'm going to come on over here to File and we're going to go to Open and we're going to go out and we're going to find my photo logo. Now, when it comes to you, and this is the really cool part, I ordered my photo logo this past Sunday afternoon. And when I woke up Monday morning, it was already sent to me in a zip file. They tell you two days, I got mine overnight on a Sunday night. I thought that was pretty cool. So I unzip the file and then you get this photo logo folder. And when you open it up, you're gonna get four signatures, a black and white that's high res. These are all in PNG files, uh, a low res, and then you're gonna get a white one here. Obviously it's real hard to see the type in a high res and one in a low res. Well, I want the high res uh, white. If you want black, you can do that. You can change it in Photoshop really to any color you want. Here's my thoughts on logos. And by the way, there it is. You can see it's very eloquent. I was trying to create these nice swoops here with my, uh, that's a technical term, swoops. But I, I, I was trying to create a signature that looked a lot like this, except that it came out looking more like uh, doctor's handwriting, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's stop for a moment and explain the difference between a watermark and an embedded copyright. A watermark is what's going to be on the photo when you go out to social media. Does it stop the thieves from stealing your photo? Absolutely not. In fact, you can do a reverse Google photo search on the web. It's very simple to do. And just if you don't know how to do it, go to my website, donsmithphotography.com and just do a search on my blog site uh, for Google photo search. And it will come up and I'll walk you right through the steps on the blog site. It turns out that there's a lot of thieves living in Eastern Europe. Um, 
And that's where, in Russia especially, is where the majority of my photos are stolen and put on the web. Is there anything I can do about it? Nah, it's the World Wide Web. If I'm gonna stress all day over that, I'm never gonna move on with my business of being a photographer. So, you know, that's just a challenge you face, gang, when you put stuff out on the web. Thieves are gonna grab it. It, you just have to live with it. So the two ways I deal with it is A, I do put a logo over it, which I'm gonna do now, a signature. And then I do go in and I embed a copyright on every one of my photos. And you can do this in any um, photo editing program, really. Uh, in Photoshop, it's real simple. You come to File, File Info. You come down here to IPTC and scroll down and fill out these um, different fields. And right here, you're gonna see copyright notice. And that's where you will embed in your file a copyright. Can a thief go in and change that? Yes, they can. They're very cagey on how they go about doing this. But all my images that go up to Getty Images do have an embedded uh, copyright. And Getty does have software that goes out and crawls the web and looks for thieves stealing my photos. So I'm kind of protected there, but if you don't have an agency with sophisticated web crawling software, just make sure you have the embedded copyright in your IPTC field. And again, you can do it through Lightroom, Photoshop, most of the photo programs gonna allow you to do it. All right, let's get back to showing you now how I'm gonna get this cool looking signature onto my photo. So you can see my photos open in one tab and we're open now in the high res uh, photo signature. So it's real simple. I'm just gonna hit uh, Command or Control A to select. This is a real simple process. Command or Control C to copy. And then I'm gonna click back on my photo and Command or Control V to paste. Now, you're gonna see that my logo comes up really big and this is not exactly how we want it. So we're gonna come under Edit and this is really the uh, the trick of, of sizing down this photo. We're going to come down to the cool transform filter and click on scale. And now you're going to see there's a bounding box that's been put around my signature. And I'm going to hold the shift key and just pull down. And we're just going to make this little box. And I'm going to drag it over now down to the size that we want to fit the photo. And, you know, this is totally up to you how much you want to to size it up or size it down. My thoughts are this on adding any kind of a logo or a signature to your photo. When I apply my signature or I do see some, some photographers put a logo on their picture and that's fine. And I do have a great logo that my IT person, Jennifer Schwartz uh, designed for me. You'll see it on the front of my website. It just looked too domineering on my photos. And when I put my photos out on social media, I want my viewer's eye to go to the picture. I don't want my logo to be the first thing that a person sees. And remember, um, this comes from Design 101. The eye is going to gravitate to the brightest part of the scene. We teach this all the time in workshops. And really, if you think about a white type, that is the brightest part of the scene. So you have an option up here. If, that's why I wanted to keep this layer active. You come to your opacity slider and I can turn that logo off or I can bump it in, you know, kind of to taste. So I think on this one, I'm fine. And I'm gonna hit Command or Control E to flatten it. And now I've got a beautiful looking logo and I can come out here and now size my picture for the web. I do it through Tony Kuiper's panel. You can uh, go to tonykuiper.com, this is uh, a relatively inexpensive panel. I think Tony's selling them now for $29.99. Um, I have other videos that deal with this panel, but if you come down to the TK Actions, you'll see you have a choice of vertical, horizontal. I size my images 1200 on the long side for a uh, horizontal. I size them about 7 to 800 on the vertical side, but being this is a horizontal, we're gonna click there. And you're gonna see that it sizes it right down and it puts it as its outputs it as its own file and even bumps in a little sharpening. Uh, Tony, it, it, it's great what he's designed and I really encourage you to go to his site and check this out. So that's how simple it is. I do finish off my pictures and I've showed this before, but I'll show it once again. I'm gonna hit Command or Control A to select 
want to put a little border around this. And I'm going to come down here to Stroke. I'm going to come into the inside on Location, click on my colors, go up here to White, click OK. And that puts a white border, but I'm not quite done. I want to come down here to Stroke, and I'm going to hit a, or I'm going to select the center, and I'm going to click on my black, and I'm going to put a black border around the white border, and now we've got kind of an eloquent looking border that goes with the signature, and I just simply output this photo as a web, uh, save it as probably compression 10 would be fine, 8 to 10 range. You don't even need to really save these pictures at, at the highest compression level. But that's all up to you. I know everybody does this a little bit differently. And I hope this video has helped you. Check them out, photologo.co.com. For $39.99, you can get your own designed logo that looks eloquent. Uh, it's not domineering in the photo and um, it really will kind of be your first step against hopefully people out there on the web stealing your photo. Remember to always embed that copyright. That's going to be really your second protection. And then after that, gang, as I said, really don't lose sleep on this stuff. It's just going to happen. So I hope this has helped you out. And until next time, this is Don Smith. We'll talk to you then.